With the recent grid issues in the United States, individuals are increasingly looking for whole home backup battery options. In this video, we're going to discuss a system that allows you to build it out over time as your budget permits. At the core of this whole home integration is EcoFlow's smart home panel. This is a setup that allows you to power lines in your house instantly if the grid goes down and can provide an unlimited power source when coupled with solar panels. It's a very fascinating system that's modular, transportable, expandable, and programmable. If at any time you want to check out the items that we're going to cover in this video, I'll post the links in the description and comments section below along with coupons. So let's jump in. Whole Home Power Backup Let me start off with a high-level overview of this specific setup and the heart of it, the Smart Home Panel, or SHP. The SHP is EcoFlow's newest addition that allows you to tie their Delta Pro into your home's existing electrical panel. If the grid goes down, the Delta Pros will instantly provide power to select lines that you tied in with the smart home panel. Two Delta Pros can be combined with up to 3,200 watts of solar panels and can also be connected to EcoFlow's dual fuel generators. These dual fuel generators can be programmed to automatically kick on when Delta Pro batteries drop to a specified amount programmable in the app. Installing the SHP. For the SHP's installation, I highly recommend going with a professional. We set this system up at one of our team members' house using a local electrician. While EcoFlow does provide instructions to do this, and I'll provide a link to their documentation in the description section below, when it comes to altering anything with my house's electrical wiring, I always use a professional. The professional used the information provided by EcoFlow and had no issues completing the project. The electrician also installed a 30 amp circuit breaker that powers the two EcoFlow Delta Pros if you want to charge them from the grid. Use Cases as mentioned earlier, the Delta Pros connect to the smart home panel, providing the power for either an emergency or for power arbitrage purposes to save money on your monthly electrical bill. If the grid goes down, EcoFlow's Emergency Power Source, or EPS, provides power nearly instantly in just 30 milliseconds. As shown here, the light in the background is plugged into a wall socket, and after shutting off the main breaker, it doesn't flicker. Most household devices will do fine with the EPS, but that's something you need to be aware of in case you have sensitive equipment like computer servers. You can expand the battery capacity of the Delta Pros to a total of 25 kilowatt hours by adding their smart batteries. Shown here, we have one add-on smart battery connected to one Delta Pro. Each Delta Pro and smart battery has a capacity of 3.6 kilowatt hours each. If the grid were to go down, you can connect up to a total of 3,200 watts of solar panels to charge these. Additionally, if you do connect these with their dual fuel smart generators, the Delta Pros can automatically start up the generator to have it charge the batteries and then turn it off when the batteries charge to a level that you define with the app. Overall, I think it's a well thought out setup for emergency power backup. Additionally, for those that live in areas where the time of use or power arbitrage is an option through your local power company, you can program the smart panel to provide power to the 10 lines, thus reducing your power load during hours when your power company may charge a higher rate for power usage, which is typically in the evening, thus saving you money. This is commonly referred to as power arbitrage. And just to be clear on this point, this setup does not send power directly to the grid, but rather to the 10 lines that you connect in your house. While I mentioned the app a few times in this video, I think it's worth showing a little bit more information to highlight the power of the smart home panel and how you can utilize it both for emergency power outages and lowering your monthly electrical bill. This app can be connected to the internet to allow you to monitor all of this remotely. As shown here, we can set up 10 lines in our house. We can see their daily usage, which is a powerful tool to allow you to monitor usage in your home. We can see the status of the battery, charging input, and percentage charge. And you can define the depth of discharge on the battery, and you can program it to automatically start up the dual fuel generators when the batteries are too low. You can schedule automations instructing it when to charge the batteries and when to discharge them and from what source, solar, generators, or the grid, to power devices on the 10 lines. You can define the priority of the lines to be powered. We did receive the SHP several months ago, and we never released a video on it, as the app was a bit glitchy at that time. We provided them a lot of feedback, and to their credit, EcoFlow listened to our feedback, and I'm sure from others as well, and they have made several large changes to the app, resulting in a very solid system. So here's my takeaway with a setup like this. EcoFlow is targeting the whole home power backup market with a system 
that's also expandable. It's modular and it's mobile. And I did a video a while back detailing my whole home battery backup system. And I think it's worth comparing this system, the EcoFlow, to a fully integrated install if you're in the market for some type of whole home battery backup system. First of all, my whole home inverter battery backup system, named the Saluna S12, it retails for about 13,000. And I was able also to qualify for a tax rebate for that setup to further reduce the cost. With a system like that, when it comes to power arbitrage, I can actually push power back to the grid during the peak hours between 4 and 9 p.m. PST. When the electricity company in my area, they actually charge double the rates per kilowatt hours in that five hour window. Now with the EcoFlow, you can't push back to the grid, but rather you can only power 10 lines in your house that you designated in the app. Second, my whole home battery backup system can accept 8,000 watts from the solar panels, whereas two EcoFlow Delta Pros can only accept 3,200 watts of solar combined. Third, my battery backup system has a capacity of 11.5 kilowatt hours at the price of 13,000. Again, you can also factor in the rebates. In comparison, two EcoFlow Delta Pros with one smart battery system as shown here will give you 10.8 kilowatt hours, which is close to my integrated system. It's gonna cost you $9,200 and the SHP will cost you another $1,500. So at that point, you're roughly in about $11,000 with EcoFlow. Lastly, the Saluna can output 150 amps and the SHP can output 30 amps maximum. The biggest advantage of the EcoFlow setup though is the modularity and mobility. I can't really move the Saluna weighing in at 660 pounds. The reason I ran through this comparison is give you an idea of what these different systems can do and some of the primary things that you need to look at if you're out there shopping for a whole home battery backup system. And hopefully that will help inform you if you compare it to the EcoFlow setup. Maybe you're in the market for a whole home battery backup system, but you don't want to spend a lot up front, but rather build it out as your budget permits. If that's the case, this might be something for you to consider. And one last thing to bring up, when the EcoFlow sent us the SHP, we did spend quite a lot of time at the beginning trying to get it to work with two older Delta Pros we had. We programmed various automation into the app and the system, it just would not work, which is why this video was not released back in the summer when we originally got this equipment. EcoFlow, they did end up sending us two new Delta Pros and when we connected them, they immediately worked right out of the box with the SHP and the app. I only bring this up because if you have some of the original generation Delta Pros and you're considering this setup, you might wanna talk with their customer support first to ensure that you're not gonna have any issues. Overall, I would say that I do like this setup a lot, especially the backup dual fuel generators which you can tie into this. If I had one piece of advice for EcoFlow though, it would be to roll out new Delta Pros upgrading the solar input capability. With each Delta Pro only being able to handle 1,600 watts of solar input. They're really on the low end of solar input for items that are in this industry. But I will say in their defense that these models are about a year and a half old and they were really the first to pioneer this level of ability in portable devices. They're just a little bit on the older side. I know they're gonna be presenting updated products in Las Vegas next month in January, at the beginning of January at CES. So you might wanna watch out for that to see what they come out with because they might have a solution that can accept more solar input. If you have any questions, please post those in the comments section below. And if you'd like to check out any of the products I mentioned in the video, I'll post links and coupon codes in the description section below. As always, stay safe out there.